Hi, and welcome back to Tarot Life Coach Channel with me, your host, Tanya Melendez. So this week, we have lots of wonderful things going on. The energy is out of this world with the full moon and a lunar eclipse. But before we get started any further, let's go ahead and check in and do our power prayer, and I will tell you the cards we're using. So the cards we'll be using this week for our message are the Gateway Oracle cards. You know I love these cards. They are on fire. As well as for our mantra, oops, <laughs> for the week will be our Angel Dreams Oracle cards as well as our tarot. So our power words for this week are accepting yourself and being in your flow. So with that said, let's just go ahead and just take it to prayer. Today is a, a rainy day here in Florida. So I like rain because it washes away a lot of things and helps all the plants grow. So anyway, taking in a nice deep breath, breathing in good, breathing in God, knowing right here and right now all that there is and all there will ever be is love, knowing that acceptance is knowing the truth of who you are, knowing that acceptance is knowing who you are and what you are is exactly what you're supposed to be. And so I know that just by recognizing this and by being aware of this, that I know we are all in our flow. So I'm just blessing this divine message, calling it good, calling it God, knowing that all is in divine and perfect order, that we are in our flow and therefore we are growing. We are shifting, we are healing, we are forgiving, we are letting God be God in and as our lives. So how good it is to accept, love, and approve of ourselves right here and right now. I just bless anyone watching the video or listening. I bless our our work, our week, our families, our health, our prosperity, and all things and all people in our lives. How good it is to know that God is our very life essence. God is why we are here. And so I just am so grateful for the air, the earth, the water, and the fire, knowing that we are made of goodness. We are made of grace. We are made in gratitude. I'm so blessed and grateful for this time. And so it is. So wonderful power prayer today. And this week we have a double doozy. We've got the full moon as well as the lunar eclipse. And that full moon is in Sagittarius. So there's going to be just a lot of getting rid of old stuff. I'm just going to tell you it's going to be out of this world. First of all, we're moving into Gemini. And that with the sun, when it's moving into Gemini, you know, Gemini is the duality. It's the two sides. So a lot of things from your shadow side will come up. And a lot of things that you're wanting to move out of your life will be pushed out. And things that you want to bring into that maybe make you a little afraid will come in more gracefully and easily. As well as with this full moon and lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipses have the strength of three or four full moons. So we have a full moon and that lunar eclipse, so it's going to feel big, it's going to feel tumultuous, it's going to feel crazy, our energy is going to go up and our energy is going to go down, so be aware and allow yourself to feel what you feel, and again, accept yourself for where you are right now, understand that all of this is happening right now to get you ready for June, to get you ready for July, because also full moons as well as lunar eclipse are our time for manifestation, so what do you want to manifest? And we'll talk more about that after our reading. So let's get started. Let's see what our angel message for the week is. And the reason I picked the angel dreams is because I figured for us to have with this full moon and the lunar eclipse, let's, let's allow our dreams to guide us. So let's see what our dreams are going to have in store for us, to week, this, for us this week. So I'm going to ask everyone to really be mindful of your dreams this week. Keep even a pen and paper next to you. See what comes up because there are dream symbols. And if you email me with some of your dream symbols, I will do my best to get back to you and tell you what some of those symbols are. And you can email me at tarotlifecoach at gmail.com, or you can also look on my website, www.tarotlifecoach.com. So let's see what the angel dreams are. Okay, wow, this is a good one. I know this is good for me, too. So we get the color purple, third eye, claircognizance. 
So what a wonderful message. So be aware, this is telling me that our dreams are going to be telling us something. So pay attention to what your dreams are telling you. I'm trying to hold the card in the best way that I can so everybody could see what it says and what it looks like. There we go. I finally figured it out. So please be aware. So that's what your dreams are going to be telling you this week. We're going to have a lot of intuition coming up. And yes, the full moon does increase our intuition, especially those born under the sun sign of cancer like myself. So pay attention to your dreams, which is why I did decide to use the angel dream cards as well as telling you to pay attention because there are messages there. For instance, I have been having dreams about turtles. I don't know why or what, what's going on, but, and I did happen to see a, a turtle that, I don't know what happened, but it was on the side of the pond, my little pond that I go to every day, and I was so, so, it just hurt me to my heart to see that it was, it was, it was dead, and so I actually even just sent a prayer to the turtle and to the turtle's family because I see all these turtles all around the pond all the time, so I know they're very connected and they're very family-oriented because they're all in the same pond together. So I did, um, it saddened my heart, but I also was very aware that of the circle of life. And so, okay, you heard me shuffling the cards. So the first card we get with the gateway is accepting what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. So are we on fire or what? Accepting what is. Like I said, this is really about allowing us to accept ourselves for who we are. There, We always think, oh, I have to get there. There is no there. There is only here. So allow yourself to be here now. This is who you are. Not tomorrow's version of you, not yesterday's version of you, but today, yourself right now. So accepting what is. Then we get... And again, this is what I even said in our prayer. This, I'm telling you, my angels are always working for me. It says, cherishing self. I accept and love of myself. If you listen to the prayer, I did say, I love and approve of myself. And so that's what this card is saying. Cherishing the self. And how awesome is that? We're just getting all kinds of affirmation for ourselves this week. And then we get, this is so good, because let's see where Tanya is heading next. Embarking on an adventure, I savor the wonders of the world. So we know something magical and wonderful is about to happen. So how good it is to know that our prayer was heard and they came right up in the cards and that's why I really do love these gateway cards. They are by Denise Lynn and since I've used them they have just been on fire for me. So let's see what the tarot has to say. And as a special, because you know I do love the moon and love connecting with the moon, I am offering a full moon lunar eclipse special. That's a 30 minute tarot, um, intuitive tarot session, 30 minutes for $45. So if you are interested, please, you can either call me at 773-828-4401 or you can send me an email at tarotlifecoach at gmail.com. So if you are interested in a 30 minute intuitive tarot session, please let me know. It is $45 from now, or actually I should say from Tuesday, May 21st, until the 31st. So I'm going to run it for 10 days because with the full moon and the lunar eclipse, the energy is huge, and I couldn't possibly get in everybody within the next five days anyway, so I figure why not. And remember, I am now taking Saturday appointments. So let's see what the tarot has to say. All right. Okay, so we are just on fire. All I can say is on fire. But remember, the planets are going to be giving us a little bit of a push and pull. So make sure you stay aware of what's going on inside because the cards are all, they're on fire. So the first card we get is temperance. And this card is telling me, again, be mindful of what's in your spirit. Be mindful of what's in your heart. But more importantly, listen to what is in your heart listen to what is in your spirit and so this is really about you connecting again we got that purple card from that's what we're going to be dreaming about so this is also telling us that we're going to be very aware and within this energy of being psychically connected our intuition is going to be on fire so pay attention to the signs symbols dreams anything that you're getting this week and look at how interesting is that. She's got a purple card 
in her hand. And how interesting, does it almost look exactly like the card that's there? There are no co coincidences or accidents. I can truly tell you that, and now you can see it for yourself. So after that, then we get what the star. So again, accept yourself for who you are, but also more than that, Ask your angels, go to your guides, go to your spiritual place, fill your, spin, fill your spiritual center this week. Allow yourself to, again, the card that we got, cherish the self, accepting and loving the self. This card is also almost exactly, sorry, I'm trying to hold it up to you, it's almost exactly what this is saying here. So accepting the self, but also accepting the wisdom that is coming from your intuition. And then last but not least, we get the Nine of Pentacles. So what the Nine of Pentacles is telling me is this is also a time about us growing spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. But more than that, we're also growing financially. So allow yourself to be in that place of receiving, which is our feminine side, which is our left side. Our feminine side is our left side. Masculine side is the left side. So be, I'm sorry, the right side. So be in a place of receiving as well as giving because a lot of times our feminine energy is the giver, giver, giver. And this goes for men and women. Make sure there is a balance for yourself. So really check in with yourself. Listen to your intuition. If you're getting something that says make that phone call, make the phone call. If you're getting something that tells you to go left and you feel like, oh, I want to go right because it's shorter, Listen to your intuition this week. That's what this full moon energy is about. That's also what this lunar eclipse energy is all about. So take a nice deep breath. And I know sometimes I get on a roll and I'm saying everything so quick because I also, I just get inspired. And my inspiration comes through with my videos. And also I don't want to make the videos 15 or 20 minutes long. So I am paying attention to the time. And I'm sharing so much in such a little in a short period of time. But that said, I just want you to know that you are the love, you are the light, and so stay in your flow so you can continue to grow. And when you're staying in your flow, there is no room for gossip, there is no room for, you know, pain, injury, suffering, there's no energy for anyone to come in and shake you from your core because when you're accepting yourself for who you are that means you are loving and approving yourself approving of yourself for who you are right now not your tomorrow version or yesterday's version but who you are right now and that is the message that we've got obviously very loud and clear this week so allow yourself some time also to stop and smell the roses Relax, breathe, ask yourself, what is it that you truly want and desire in your life? And if you're ready to answer those questions, please check out either my Soul Path session or Spiritual Wellness Coaching. I've got something or session for you. And again, don't forget about my special for this week or for the full moon and lunar eclipse, the 45 minutes, or I'm sorry, 40, 30 minutes for $45 the full moon lunar eclipse special, and that is an intuitive tarot session. So if you are ready and want to talk to me, go ahead and give me a call at 773-828-4401. And remember that special starts tomorrow, May 21st through the 31st. So we've got Memorial Weekend to get through as well. So wanted to make sure I offered it for everyone to get through. And so I'm just knowing that our week is so blessed. Our bodies are so blessed. Our minds are so blessed. Our prosperity is so blessed, and we are so blessed because we are so loved. You are loved, I am loved, and I'm so grateful. Until next week, everybody, peace and blessings.